Well, good evening. I want to thank you again for joining us on our Daily Dose. As far as a health update on today, today is Sunday, May the 19th, 2013. It's been a typical day for me, except for the fact that me being in the hospital, I wasn't able to actually go and formally worship with any congregation. I miss that more than anything. I think one of the most difficult things about being in the hospital is not just being away from family, as in my physical family, my children, my wife, parents, but really, it's more so being away from a church family. But as my wife was able to worship with them and the children this morning and spend some time with them, I was reminded through a phone call of how much those individuals care for me, how much they love me and my family, and how much they're willing to take care of my family in my absence. And I really appreciate that. As far as my condition goes today, not much has changed at all. As a matter of fact, I felt pretty good all day long. I tried to get a little bit of rest. I've had some visitors come from Louisiana to visit with me. I didn't even know those people when I met them, but the Red family came up. They're friends of a friend and his brother. So it was exciting to meet them. Good to have them come by. I really appreciate any visit that I'm able to get, especially on a day like today. When we think about spiritual things, such as what I like to discuss on this program, we often think about our need to give trust in the Lord. The psalmist said in Psalm chapter 73 and verse 38, But it's good for me to draw near to God. I have put my trust in the Lord, that I may declare all thy works. Now friends, when we think about the word trust, we often think about someone who we can really trust in the sense that when they tell us something, we know it to be true. And that is that we can rely on them, we can lean on them. And in a great, great sense, that is the meaning of the word trust. But it was interesting to me as I researched the word here in this verse from the Hebrew language, the word trust did not exactly mean that. As a matter of fact, the word trust here meant to be sheltered by or to find refuge. And so seemingly to look at the verse and re-quote it again, what the psalmist is really saying is this, but it is good for me to draw near to God for I have found refuge in the Lord. Now, if we take the verse and break it into sections, we could divide it into at least three sections just based on the punctuation, if not four. But the first thing I want to notice with you is that this psalmist here, as he wrote this, he made a great discovery. And that discovery was simply this, that he needed to draw nigh unto God. We all need that. We all need to come as close to God as we can. Of course, there's no better way to do that than through the study of His Word and ultimately through prayer and worship. And that's what I desire to do today, and I was able to do that to the best of my extent from a hospital room. But those of you who had that privilege, I pray that you took advantage of it as we draw nigh unto God. But in that discovery, we see a man here, not only in that, the psalmist, as we move in the very next part, and that is he had made a decision too. Because he says, I have put my trust in the Lord. I've decided that I cannot find refuge in self. I cannot find refuge in my family and my friends and those who are around me. No, the refuge that I need, the shelter that I need, if you will, in the time of storm is that of God. And friends, when I think about that, that's really something that is rang true in my life daily. More and more, and if you will, the farther I go in the process of waiting a heart transplant, the more that I'm reminded that I cannot put my trust, I cannot shelter myself in the physical things of this life except I have already found shelter in the Lord. I can't rely on anything else. And so we think about those words. We think about what he said. And we see that, yes, he made a discovery. But true enough, even after that, he made a decision. And his decision was for reason. Because the reason he gave behind that was ultimately to go on to say that I may declare all thy works. And so you might even imply in this, this is the declaration. Because what he wants to declare is that all the works of God are great. Everything that God has said or done throughout history is that which is great. And friends, I as a gospel preacher, I've known for quite some time the greatness of God's word. As a Christian, even more so, I know the greatness of God's word. And it's nothing more than my desire that God's word be declared. Irregardless of my health, irregardless of my situation, and regardless of the pity that I may try to feel for self, God's word need be declared. And so what I'm considering with you today is this. I'm asking you, have you understood that God has to be your trust? God must become your shelter in life. He must be the one who wraps his arms around you in a spiritual way 
and lead you through this life. If not, why not? Friends, this has been your daily dose, and I pray that you've been encouraged.